Years ago, student recreation on college campuses mostly meant playing intramural football or shooting hoops at the gym. But on a recent weekday afternoon, students at Ohio State University lined up for a cycling fusion class that was filled to capacity. The class was just one of 130 group fitness classes that Ohio State now offers in a week, in everything from Latin dance to weightlifting. There's a much broader array of activities today because we've realized that collegiate recreation needs to get students uh, up and moving, paying attention to physical activity. We now include our group fitness classes, outdoor adventure programs, and uh, aquatics operation, along with a focus on personal fitness and personal training. Students can be a fickle bunch, so schools like Ohio State track what students do through ID card swipes at the entrance direct facilities and at classes. We pay a lot of attention here to what students want and what their expectations are. And then we also examine data very carefully. We look at who is coming to our programs, who visits our facilities, and then who doesn't, and explore those areas a little more deeply. Ohio State officials knew there was a demand for group fitness classes, but some students seemed reluctant to join in. So OSU dropped the $75 fee for group fitness and participation jumped 30%. I think it attracts a lot of people because we are college students, we're not making that much money. So it's awesome to have all these different classes and you can just show up, check out the schedule, and know that you can come in for a free workout. Women have become the majority of students at universities nationwide, and they have driven the expansion of group fitness classes on campus. In college as well as at commercial gyms, group fitness classes tend to attract far more women than men. But Ohio State isn't looking only for students who are already fitness buffs. It wants to create new ones. The number one reason why we're told students or non-users aren't using our facilities is that they don't have time. So we have uh, a wider range of time. We are open at 5, 3 in the morning and some of our rec centers are open until 2 a.m. The second reason, ironically, on our campus is that the students say that the rec centers are too far to walk to. And then the third reason is that people feel intimidated by what happens here. People think that they don't know how to, that they can't use that equipment. So we've been spending a lot of energy creating videos, showing people demonstration opportunities on how to use the equipment and how to participate in our program. And if the thought of pumping iron at the gym still doesn't appeal to some students, OSU offers to bring fitness programs right to them in the comfort of their dorms. If you live in the residence halls, you can have the group fitness program actually come to your residence hall and do a strength class or some type of a yoga class on your floor. Maybe traditionally working out is not your thing, but I mean, you can find something here in the rec center for you.